Hello everyone, this is Dragon's Breath Films here, and today we're bringing you a tutorial from on Inner Shadows. So, we're gonna jump into it right now. Alright, so now that we're in GIMP, you'll see that we're gonna first make a text layer. On top of that, we are gonna add a drop shadow. And on top of that, just to tie it all together, we're gonna add a background layer. So first, create a new project, change it to 1080p by 720p and this is just if you're wondering this is standard HD resolution it's pretty basic so now we're just gonna scale it up get it positioned to where it's easier to see uh, about right there's good and now we're gonna write our text there we go now I'm gonna be using Jedi something let me see I think it's Star Jedi I'm using Star Jedi this is a special font that you have to add on to GIMP, but if you guys want, I will do a future tutorial on that, on how to add plugins and stuff like that to GIMP. So let's scale this up a good amount. And as you notice, it says Hinner Shadows. That's every time you write a capital I with this text, it shows up as an H, which is really weird, so you have to use lowercase i's, it gets confusing. So now we're going to change the text color to orange, like this, and we are going to position it where we want it. About right here will work. Now, we are going to, we're going to, um, we're going to make a new layer, we're going to make a black layer, make sure it's black and then we are going to alpha selection our text then we're going to go to our thumbnail overlay and we are going to go to select I mean sorry we're going to go to edit clear like that and now you can see that we have basically cut a hole in our black layer which is what we want so now what we're going to do is we are going to go into filters well first we're going to go to text First we're gonna go yeah, we're gonna go to filters. I was wrong. And we are going to do light and shadow, drop shadow, and just leave it at the default settings. And just push OK. And it'll load a Gaussian blur. And there you go, you can see your effect. Now your effect's not finished yet. This is just what it looks like with a black thumb with your black thumbnail overlay. So you're going to delete your thumbnail overlay because you don't need that anymore. And you can already see the effect is not what it's supposed to look like. So you're going to alpha to selection your text. Then go home to drop shadow. Select, invert, edit, clear. And you can now see that we have our finished effect. So what we're going to do next is make our background. Do a transparent background and change the resolution. Or make sure the resolution is 1080 and 720p and also we're gonna name it background so I'll do that first alright now change it to 1080p by 720p and make sure you have transparency selected alright now we're just gonna add a simple radial blur and we can get rid of our previous background layer so we're just going to add a simple radial, sorry, I said radial blur, radial gradient, and I'm going to use gray and white, and I'm going to be doing it from white to gray. So I'll select white as my foreground color, and just drag to make my gradient. There we go. We're uh, oh, okay. So I got to fix this. Hold on. I'll just move it. Oh, okay. This is weird. This is not supposed to happen. You guys should not have this problem. So I'm just going to scale my layer up. That should do it. And let's see, that's still not enough. I'm going to scale it up a bit more. And problem solved. I'm just going to move it down to cover that last bit. And there we go. This is our finished effect. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe. And any suggestions for future tutorials or things that you would like to know, please let me down, know down in the comments section below.